All right, welcome back to Oddly Satisfying. You know what's kind of not oddly satisfying is that the header image up here has always been bubble wrap, except I feel like there's been a distinct lack of ever seeing any bubble wrap related posts here. I don't know, maybe one day that'll change, but let's for now start off down here with the reward for winning Solitaire and Windows XP. I actually think I know what this is. It's like all the cards kind of shoot out in the the old, like if your window would freeze and you would drag it around on, you know what I mean? Well, let's just look at, yep, yeah, that's what happens. Oh, I know, I know this. I've seen it before. I've never actually been Solitaire myself, but uh, I've seen I've seen this before. I had to look up what happens when you actually win. Um, but dude, yeah, it's exactly like, you know, when you used to get a, a frozen window on Windows and you drag it around on your screen and it would just keep making the window go all over the place. God, that was the best kind of error ever. Ah, if only that would still happen. It'd be great if they could bring back some classic error responses on computers. Trimming a beard with a really sharp blade. Damn, that's impressive. Also, wow, that's very scary. You know, part of me wishes that I could just like go to a place that does that kind of shade, but then the other part of me is like, I don't look very good when I don't have any facial hair whatsoever. I kind of look like a little baby. So, I mean, you can go back and look at earlier videos of mine, and I actually shaved probably like a couple of years ago for a video I had to go in, and I was not pleased. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I really don't want to do this. Um, oh, no, 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 when was it? No. That, not that video, I shaved like, I guess it wasn't terribly long ago, just because I wanted to even out the lines here, which is probably due for another reset again at some point, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, I just cut the hell out of myself. Dots moving along different shape paths. Oh my god. Well, this is pretty cool. Wait, do, okay, does it have anything to do with the shape of the paths themselves, or just the speed? I'm pretty sure this is just the speed of the dots themselves, or are they all actually- No, they're not all moving at the same speed, because you got like th this one in here move like hauling ass. This one out here is moving pretty slowly. I think the colors are just there to make it look kind of cool but I'm pretty sure if it was just a bunch of circles and they were all moving at different speeds, you'd sort of get the same effect. Not to ruin the illusion, but I don't think the shapes have much to do with it. Now, if it were the shapes that were causing balls moving at the same speed to do cool stuff, that'd be pretty nifty. Except I feel like I've been misled. Deburring, polishing, and buffing a weld. Deburring. What does deburring mean? Is it like when there's bumps on the weld? Oh. Oh wow, is that how they get welds to actually look like they're not there? That's pretty cool. Yeah, because sometimes you see pieces of metal where you see the weld all the way around the, the junction of like two pieces, and then you see others that are like a fancier piece of furniture, and there's absolutely no sign that there was any weld that took place, and I never actually knew what the process looked like to make that happen. That's pretty cool. Wait, and then, oh, you add, like, more metal to... Huh. Wait, so what's that doing? You're getting all the metal grain in the same... Oh, okay, you, like, do that, and then you get it all to be in the same direction. You create, like, little streaks or something like that. And then when you lift that off, does it look like you get that... You get, like, a bit of a seam there? So this is why your furniture is so expensive. Like, oh, so that's why it has that little... That's why it has a little junction looking thing. Now I know why so much furniture looks like it does. <laughs> the more you know, giant octopus kite. Man, I would have been so stoked to have a thing like that when I was younger, except then I probably would have used it once and never taken it out again. And also it probably never would have flown with me at the helm of it. I was never very good at getting kites to go. Um, although I do remember going to the beach a few times with my dad with this cool like, I was like a stealth bomber looking kite almost in the way it was shaped and it had two handles on it and you could you could navigate the hell out of that thing. That was actually super cool. Never had a kite like this though. But that's dude, imagine if you like fill the legs with helium and the helium could like move around and some of the legs could float and others you put helium in some of the legs and you could have an Octodad kite as well. That would be another option. Octodad probably exists. The way this plywood is able to bend after being cut just right. Wait, so what do you do? 
Hold on, so what are you doing with this saw? I'm so confused. So you're just doing a really shallow cut. Okay. Across these grooves. So what are the, hold on, so what are the horizontal, or the, what are the long way cuts across those grooves do to, that's pretty cool. Wait, but why couldn't it do that before they did the long cuts that they just showed in this GIF? Because wouldn't though those would allow it to flex in the other direction? I'm sure there's a very, very good scientific reason for them doing what they're doing. I just don't know what it is. Because I don't do any woodworking myself. Made a quarter pipe when I was younger, again with my dad. Didn't use it too much because the problem with quarter pipes that you make yourself when you don't use string attached to a nail to draw out the curve is that you oftentimes get a really, really bad jerky spot right in the middle of the ramp. And it makes it very unpleasant. You're, like it throws you out, you make it way too steep for the height and it's just like near. It's a sign of a uh, not really well thought out skate ramp. And uh, that's what happened to me. This tiled access panel. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Damn, dude, you could do like a sweet medicine cabinet that way as well. Do it with a mirror instead and then you pop. It looks like, looks a bit tricky to get it back into place. Um. What happens if the mechanism kind of fails though? It seems like it'd be pretty hard to deal with, but that's pretty cool. Rolling colors into silicone. Wait, so what's what's going on here? Oh, wait, wait so what, what's that? Is that like a, you're putting a big blob? Oh. Wait, so you like put a bunch of dye in there and then you roll it up and then you just keep on going over and over until the whole thing has the dye applied to it god can you imagine dude i would be so scared to do that can you imagine you get a finger in there who it's all over it's all over folks oh god like do you have are you holding an emergency stop mechanism in your other hand? Do you have another person who's supervising that just in case the worst happens? Because I... You're just so close to complete disaster. You, you would be squeezed like a tube of toothpaste. That is an unpleasant image, but that is exactly what would happen if you got your finger caught in there. Floor made of coins. Uh, I wonder if the price per square foot of this floor is actually less than going and buying a bunch of veneer or higher quality material. That also looks, oh, okay. I was gonna say that that looks like the worst pain in the ass to maintain and clean, but you're gonna actually, you're gonna put a, a clear coat over it. Okay, a lot better, a lot better this time. <laughs> I was gonna be like, this, that's gonna suck so much when you have to clean that damn thing. I'm not sure if I like it, but I am very curious what the price per square foot of that is in comparison to any other floor surface you just go to a store and order a bunch of. Also, got, well, in, in labor, probably a lot more because you have to lay every single penny down individually. Although I bet you there are some tile places that have some kind of pre-done sticker sheet that you can put down and peel off to do the exact same thing. But this more loving care has gone into it. The way the sun shines on the picture. I wonder if the person actually knew that this was gonna happen when they hung up the, the picture. Because if, if they did, that would be some mighty impressive planning. That's pretty, it's pretty dope. Or if that was coincidental, there's no way that's coincidental. It's too perfectly lined up. I wonder how many how many minutes a day it kind of lines up and then it's gone. But at least there's that there's that golden few seconds where it works. I feel like I've seen that picture before, at least something like it. Oh, maybe it's a print of a a famous painting because I could swear I've seen something like it. Tape masking glaze peeling on Jonathan Van Patten ceramics. Okay, wait. So. Dude, the whole, like, masking out things confuses me so much because I'm like, hold on, what was painted and what was... Okay, so that's 
That's the natural color of the clay underneath. And then the stuff that wasn't taped obviously is, is gonna have whatever you just glazed on it. Damn, this is pretty cool. This is gonna look like some ancient Egyptian sort of pottery design stuff. Just, I never understood. Like, I, this always takes me back to watching uh, Pimp My Ride when I was younger and all the crazy flame art and whatnot that they would do on the cars in that show. And just the amount of effort that it takes to put in all those tape lines just absolutely perfectly. I don't, I don't get it. It's so much work. The way these bottles are organized. I do love me some jaritos. Mm, I don't think I've ever seen that many flavors before. Good Lord, that's a lot of jaritos. And then, and then they have the water over there, and then they have some kind of cola over there. They blend that in very nicely. That's pretty good. Mm, this makes me want some. Kind of make my mouth water. Is Jaritos kind of? Is it exported pretty much all over the place? It's at least all over the place here in uh, in Southern California. I know it comes from Mexico, but I don't know if it's just exported everywhere or yeah. Anyway, but I love I love sodas that come in all sorts of flavors. It's so good. IBM Ballhead Typewriter. That's pretty, oh, is that slow motion? Damn, that's a fancy mechanism. That seems so much easier though than having to have a, no, actually it's probably more difficult than having each key bring up a, a single mechanism. Cause how in the world do you actually get the thing to know what, like when you hit the key, it properly tilts and orients the, the type head so that it hits the right. Yeah, I've I've not got a I've not got a damn clue how that works. But also, I've not got a damn clue how computers work for the most part. Just a whole bunch of metal in there together, and then poof, magic happens. It's about all I know about computer hardware engineering. And even you know what? Even talking to people who are more well versed with computer hardware, even they're like, yeah, no, it's it's kind of magic still. It's a lot of magic that goes into it, and, and it just kind of happens. You plug things into each other, and then. Bunch of invisible shit makes shit happen. That's how computers work. Concrete pressure washing. Hmm. This is oddly satisfying. So this is what happens when you have a large exterior area of your home that you have to maintain. <laughs> In fact, actually the, the floor of my garage could probably use this in fact, I'm thinking of resurfacing my garage floor to uh, be a little bit better than it is now. And there are also a, a few cracks in the concrete in there that I feel like are probably not good for when it rains and I drive my car in and the, the tires have water on them and it goes into the cracks. Probably not good. I'm very sad. I'm not very into um, cleaning things, but maybe I would in that scenario. Waterbend by Joe Fieldpausch. What the heck? How did you do that? This is some oddly satisfying crossed with black magic forkery if I've ever seen it. Damn, dude. Is this guy so fancy that he has cards with his last initial on the back of them? Cause that's how you know you've made it as a magician slash card person is you got your own branded playing cards. I should expect nothing less from a person like that. I could one handed cut at one point, can't anymore. My hands have probably shrunk. This was a popular photo of mine that I took last year. A plane I flew on had so many electronics on it, it created an interesting light effect on the walls. Really what this is, is that you're on a flight to like Iceland or Northern Sweden, Norway, Finland, somewhere in that area. And you know, they just, they want to give you a preview of what's to come as you're flying through the Northern Lights. So you know, you could look out the window, you can see the Northern Lights later on in the flight, but we're giving you a little warm up here. So you get an idea of what it may look like further on down the road. It's all about the experience all the way through the flight. BMX meets oddly satisfying at Bunga Ya. Yeah. All right, sick double peg. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> I wonder how many takes that was. Damn, let's see that one more time. Instant replay. All right, that was pretty great. Laser cut paper note cards. As you use them, a hidden object is excavated. So it's 
it is it's pretty cool yes but they're note cards right so you get down to the bottom and you're pulling out these note cards and all of a sudden you can't write on them there's not any room and then there's already things that have been carved into the note cards and so what do you actually do with these at that point, you're just kind of pulling them off one by one. You're like, well, I can't write on these anymore. I might as well just like pull off the rest and see what happens here. Cleaning out the downspout. The top of the last month and oddly satisfying. <laughs> I guess that would be what happens to a gutter in a, a very cold place. I never thought about that before. But that must be a common thing for lots of people. I've just never seen someone film it before. Damn, dude. If I had to do that at my place, it would be a, it is really tall from the top to the bottom. Be like, how, how tall is it? Probably like 35 feet. Yeah, something like that. It'd be a, it'd be a pretty lengthy, lengthy process there. Part of me wants it to freeze now. All right, well, that was it for the last month of Oddly Satisfying. I hope you were satisfied. Make sure to like if you like, check the playlist in the description if you want to catch up on more Reddit-related videos, subscribe if you're not already, and if you want to listen to music playing in the background right now, it's linked in the outro over on Mary Music. That's it. I'll see you next time.